this week, the Clip of the Week competition resumes. We look at a cage contender from Ireland and a complete preview of the Rough China Super Fight. MMA Inside the Cage, presented by Elevation Training Mask. Welcome to MMA Inside the Cage. I'm your host, Cyrus Fees. Next to me, you've seen him on MTV on Buck Wild. Casey Oxnard, congratulations. Man, that's West Virginia. I'm clearly a Tennessee boy. I've been up there. You can tell by this scruff right here. Roughing it in the wilderness in the Smokies. Really? Man. Up in the woods doing all that? No, I've been talking the wilderness in the Smokies, the indoor water park and resort. <laughs> oh, okay. How can you rough it up at a water park? Please tell well, me. Well, you know the big uh, oil can slide thing that <laughs> yeah, they've yeah. got there? Okay, well, first off, I was on my way up the stairs, sprinted up those. Are you kidding Yeah, me? it clearly says do not run. So I did that, and then me and my wife, we get on the little raft thingy. They spin it around. I go down backwards. Well, you're a rebel. Yeah, How do you yeah. Do it? Oh man, it's so so much stuff, man. Yeah, so I've much heard stuff. about the wave pool. It's so it much crazy. stuff, man. We have so much to cover, Case. Let's get serious here. We have to preview the biggest MMA fight in Chinese history: the Rough China Eight Super Fight, and we have a nasty main event of the week. News flurry time. Let's keep it stateside for our first story for the UCC, a candidate for newcomer promotion of the year. They're ready for their second show on Friday, January. 25th at the Hendersonville Expo Center. Already shaping up really big partner, big pro fights. On well, this. I'm excited. I've got my guy Donnie Lester fresh off his spot down there in Australia taking on Jonathan Ivey, possibly the most entertaining man in all of mixed martial arts. He's and awesome. then, of course, you've got Craig Johnson Wesley Sullivan. What can you say about Craig? He's got incredible takedowns, incredible ground skills, but he's facing a guy in Wesley Sullivan. Uh, his last fight, we were both there. Uh, a bloodbath. He can awesome. do it all. So I'm really excited about that fight. Then how about this tournament? The 205 mm -hmm. Pound tournament where the winner's going to get ten thousand dollars. That's big money. What do you think about this tournament? Well, of course, you got Teddy Holder fresh off his win over Sean Salmon, UFC veteran. He's taking on Jesus Rivera. Then on the other side, you're talking about Ryan Walls facing Matt Brown, yes. who had that crazy knockout in the main event of the last UCC. No show. doubt about it, man. They have a lot of stuff going on with the UCC. UCCMMA.tv for more information on the next event. That would be UCC two. WFC is back in the news as they shape up for their next event. WFC Challengers for March. 16th in Litcha, Slovenia. They're looking for fighters right now, up and coming pros, and they're just encouraging everybody to apply. And what an awesome opportunity it would be to go on over there to Slovenia and fight the top, you know, WFC guys. It's a, a dream come true for a lot of fighters to travel over to Europe, overseas to do big things. But man, you better be ready when you go to the WFC because those guys do it all. We're talking soccer kicks, almost old school Valley Tudo yes. style. You can really get hurt, but man, you can really win big if you go over there and have a head of steam behind That's you. That's right. W UFC, man, you saw they got the winner for leader of the year. They were up there for promotion of the year. It's the email address on the screen. If you go right there, it's wfc.challengers at gmail.com. You send in your application, height, weight, class, and your story, how you got started in fighting. Look for more information on wfc.si. Finally, Invicta was back at it again in Kansas City as they brought the action in a big, big way, like Invicta always does. A lot of eyes were on the main event as Carla Esparza edged out Australian sensation Rowdy Beck Hyatt by decision to become the first ever strawweight champion and then Casey you gotta love Alexis Davis and Shayna Baszler getting that rematch you know with Davis avenging her loss in this one by rear naked choke she lost to Baszler originally but she looked great in the rematch oh she does I mean she's looked great Baszler and Davis are two names that really have cultivated the world of women's mixed martial arts it's so great to see them back in action doing it in that rematch uh, props to both of them it was an excellent excellent fight and props to Beck Hyatt too uh, in the main event I think that's one that's gonna keep coming back and everybody seems to really love her she's kind of like the MMA version of Pink. Big win for Sarah Delelio in this one over Amanda Nunes. Leslie Smith with another win. And how about Veronica Rothlin-Hausler with that first round knockout. Everybody's loving the KO queen. Yeah, and, and for the women, they have had to really battle that adversity that a lot of the 125, 135 pound men had to face yeah. there early on, where the critics said that there, they do, there was not the knockout power. It's, it's not there. Man, I'll tell you, Rothlin-Hausler, she really disputes that by getting this huge KO. She does it over and over again makes women's fighting so much more exciting when you see that kind of stuff well i'll tell you what the women were awesome but then pat barry <laughs> you know he, he was in there in the corner you gotta going, have pat barry there brother you got to he always has a good time rosa namajuna is getting her big win by submission 
not. She already has more submissions than her boyfriend in pro competitions. That's pretty impressive. InvictaFC.com for everything Invicta. And we can't wait until the next big show. Well, it's time to start up a new year at the Clip of the Week competition. Mm. I love this stuff. Remember, each week we're handing out a prize package that includes an Elevation Training Mass 2.0 to the Clip of the Most Votes. We're going to introduce the biggest organization in Ireland next round. But right now, let's get it started. First four finalists for Clip of the Week. Fighters, promoters, fans, get hooked up. Send us your best knockouts and submissions by going to MMAinsidethecagetv.com and clicking Get On Air. In the very dangerous sport of mixed martial arts, one company has your back. Combat Sports Insurance is the Southeast's newest entity, insuring events, promoters, and fighters as well. Owner Jeremy Augusta, an area leader in insurance for the past decade and current MMA fighter for Team Oxendine, is focused on bringing the best coverage to your event and your fighters. Combat Sports Insurance, call today at 423-571-2519 or visit CombatSportsInsurance.com. MMA Inside the Cage, presented by Elevation Training Mask. Welcome back to the show. You know, every week we scour the globe looking for quality promotions to feature here on MMA ITC. And when you think of Ireland, you generally think of maybe pubs and potatoes, maybe a little football or soccer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Cage Contenders is an MMA promotion based out of Dublin who's been around for a little while, also a big part of Fight Now TV. Well, they have been around for a long time. Since 2009, 16 events, great production value, and some of the top UK fighters. No doubt about it. They're really coming through the ranks, kind of like the guy that just won Tough Smash is Norman Park. He's fought for cage contender Gunnar Nelson who's really making waves in the UFC Dean Lister Ivan Salivary a lot of big names have made it through the ranks a uh, big event coming up on February 23rd as the world is watching Paul Daly has signed on to fight there in the main event laid down a challenge to former UFC or Marcus the Irish hand grenade Davis a big time fan favorite and if they make this fight happen it could be tremendous it could Daly's never to shortage a word he has called out Marcus Davis Davis saying that there's not enough money on that card right now to make it happen for him and make it worth his while well they, you know he's been knocked out a few times Times. You know, I kind of understand that he doesn't want to have too many more fights, so he wants to get paid the right amount of money. Well, you definitely want to get paid for the work that you do in there. Maybe daily, he's making, I'm sure, a substantial amount. Maybe he'll come off a little bit uh, and, and throw it over there <laughs> to see Davis how bad he really happen. wants to fight. You know, right? and, and Davis wants to make a good showing there in his motherland of mm -hmm. Ireland. He is, after all, the Irish hand That's, This is very true. You know, the website is cagecontender.com. And look out for more great cage contender content right here on Fight Now TV. Well, it's time for our feature fighter of the week brought to you by Gamma Lab. So let's shoot over to Poland where KSW has a real star in their hands in the middleweight division. It's not Mamed Kalinov. It's Michael Maturla. What can I say about this rising star in Michael Maturla? You're talking about 18 and three on a six fight tear and also six years undefeated, man. It's this amazing. guy could really do it all. He's coming off that big KO victory over UFC vet Rodney Wallace. And he can go the distance. He beat Matt Horwich, a very game opponent, got the decision victory in that one. And submission savvy, uh, most notably the guillotine choke, man. Finished four of his opponents with that guillotine choke. Michael Maturla can do it all. Man. Oh man, and the fans love him over there. That is our feature fight of the week and look out for more from Michael Maturla, go to the KSW homepage, confrontasha.com for more information on KSW 22 and their upcoming events. While well, our feature fight of the week is brought to you by Gamma Labs, find out more at gammalabs.net. Rough China Super Fight preview after the break, but first, four more finalists for Clip of the Week. <laughs> She did 
weeks all you saw was everyone's everyone's belongings like their whole life out on the curb you know maybe picked up as trash couches beds furniture kitchens you know and it became walls and insulation because everything had to be ripped out it's just crazy it's hard to say hurricane sandy is such an unusual storm a once in a generation event and this storm is monster sized we don't normally see storms move this way. This will be a historic storm for so many. The one thing we've got to watch is where it hits. People lost cars, I lost a car, people lost belongings, uh, and unfortunately some people lost their homes entirely. My aunt and uncle, uh, they lived on the water. Their house was pretty much uh, destroyed, and they've been living with us ever since. I lost everything. I've been living out of a suitcase for the last month and a half. Um, I don't have a residence. I bounce around between my friend's house. I'm a nomad. We're going to rebuild stronger, smarter, and safer. We have just an incredible workforce here that's that's well equipped and ready to do it. It's actually brought a lot of people together. Um, the the storm and you see people helping other people out. And this is just a bump in the road and we're gonna bounce back because it's New York and it's the greatest city in the world. MMA Inside the Cage, presented by Elevation Training Mask. It's third and final round time. Cyrus Fee is joined by Casey Oxenine. Rough China has been in business for a little over a year now. And from the get-go, they've been building towards this super fight event, which is finally going to happen on February 2nd. They are awarding 1 million RMB to the winner of five different championship matches. That's like 160K. That is dollars. UFC money. That's beyond UFC mm -hmm. money for a lot of fighters. Well, it's all going down February 2nd from the indoor stadium in Hoha, Inner Mongolia. Let's take a look at some of these fights. First up, the light heavyweight championship. Kind of in a round robin. These guys have faced each other before, but it's Li Ji Zhang winning the first fight against Zhao Zhi Long by decision. Now Zhao Zhi Long is back in there against the guy trying to avenge his loss. It was a war the first time, and of course Zhao Zhi Long is on a tear right now. Mm -hmm. Going into this rematch, Li Ji Zhang, you, you gotta know that it's difficult to win a rematch. It you, does. Especially when a guy pushed you so hard the first time. Anxious to see this one. It's gonna, it's be, gonna be very interesting. The flyweights are in action, and what could be the fight of the night, in my opinion, Liu Pingyuan trying to extend his four-fight win streak 
you can get Zhang Mei Xuan. Now, another big rematch in this one. Ping Yuan got the first victory by split decision. Mei Xuan, we're going to see him in the main event. He's really delivered as of late. This is a rematch that's going to be interesting. Exactly. Another rematch. Very, very close the first time. When you're talking split decisions, it could have gone either way. you got to be thinking, if you want it, what do I got to do to edge it out again? If you're the one that lost, you got to be hungry. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great fight. Looking forward to that one. Rodrigo Caporal, a guy nominated for Fighter of the Year in 2012, looks to cash in big against Wu Hao Shen in the 185 title fight. Hao Shen is not going to be an easy win, though. He really wants to avenge that KO loss from Ref 5 to Caporal. You know, this is a rematch, and uh, everybody's kind of surprised by Caporal's power, mm -hmm. but uh, this going to be a tall order for Hao Shen. Absolutely to get past. a tall order. Anytime you face Rodrigo Caporal, uh, if you can somehow get past the hands of Caporal, he's going to have to deal with that ground game. It is exquisite, it is world level, and man, I just think that Caporal stands above the heap in that division right now. I gotta oh. give it to him. Well, there we go. Uh, Jumabiki Tarsun, the Wild Wolf, taking on the man that he edged out before, Syed Urshad. Another rematch here. Urshad has rattled off two wins since the loss. Has to be chomping at the bit to get back into the cage mm -hmm. against the Wild Wolf. Tarsun, this guy is undefeated, 14-0. He is on a tear, but this is the thing. Urshad, he did take him the distance. It was a split decision. It was close. He's given him the toughest battle to date. I think this makes a great fight, but man, Tarsun, once again, a tall order for any fighter there in rough China. I completely agree. World level. And finally, it looks like our main event will be the undefeated Wang Guan meeting Wu Chengzhi in the championship fight there, where this is the only one we're not going to see a rematch. This is very interesting. It's going to take a lot to unseat Wang Guan, but straight from the mouth of Joel Resnick, the man that runs rough China, he says that Chengzhi can get it done. Wang Guan on 10 fight tear. He is the man right now, uh, really on a rise. But they say, and like you say, Chengzhi can do this. If he can do this, he can take that top spot in rough China overnight and do big things in the world of MMA. And pick up a big paycheck on top of it. Well, more information, all you have to do, head to roughchina.com. They are trying to get these fights in the U.S. and out there for the international fans. So hopefully we will have details on that soon. Until then, let's get you ready for the super fight with the great fight between Zhang Mishuan and Shang Jifa. It's the big fight from Rough 7. It's your MMA Inside the Cage main event of the week. All right, rough number seven. It is Shang Jifa taking on Zhang Mishuan, the winner. Moving on to the super fight, rough number eight to face Lu Pingyuan, a man who has beat them both. Uh, Mishuan does have a victory over Pingyuan, so that'll be a rubber match if he can get there to face him once again. Big implications here as they both want to get that championship. Big opportunity for both men, man. When you're at the top of the heap here at Rough China, it's always a tall order. And a big payday, not to imagine that. A One million RMB if you win that championship. Let's see who's going to move on. Here we go. A feeling out process. Oh, big flying knee by Michuan right, right out of the gate. Using those up kicks, very, very good composure by Mishuan, even though he's on his back. This is very true. And there we go. Shang Jiva trying to take advantage. Going yes. after the leg. Both men playing footsie a little bit. Always dangerous. They call that 50-50 position for a reason. You know, and I've told you a couple times, Case, you know, a lot of people think a lot of martial arts, you can see a lot of stand-up. These guys love jiu-jitsu. They love getting the leg locks. She thought going after that heel hook strong. This is not good for Juan. Big strikes here. Ground and pound. Like I said, this could be an early exit. Winner moves on to face Ping Yuan in the super fight. And you got to wonder how long can Shifa yeah, he's stay in there? If he's given up that arm, he's given up that arm. Once again, though, it looks like Meishuan in dominant position here. Could possibly land some big shots to the head with the big knees. Oh, another big knee. Well, he's wearing him down, Casey. You know, Meishuan. Oh, big toss by Meishuan. Beautiful. Control. Look at that. Big shots there by Shifa. Look how the tide has turned here. He's landed yeah. some shots here. Ah, Meishuan back up. Now we're going to see how that cut affects the game of Jifa. We get things started again. Here we go. Oh, big shots by Jifa. A lot of action. Both these guys are swinging for the fences here. A big, solid connection could be trouble. Absolutely. You never know, man. When you're throwing heavy leather like that, one shot can spell disaster. Michuan just all over the place, the big flying knees. You never know what's going to come. So uh, as the more refined striker, you've got to watch out for that. And there we go. That could go the distance, although these guys are throwing ferociously. This one could go the distance just because they both are 125ers. They've both been the distance plenty of times before. They're both really refined as well and, and very, very tough, as you can tell. 
Here we go. Michuan coming out very unorthodox again. Stepping with a sidekick. You can tell he's very hard to read. Yeah. He, yeah, he definitely uh, has thrown a lot of unorthodox and a lot of exciting strikes. He's oh, another flying knee up to a right kick now, this second round. Very close. You can definitely tell Michuan shooting him for that takedown. It, it was half-hearted, so uh, he, he definitely was in some trouble right there. She so found trying to pull some sort of a guillotine, maybe a standing guillotine, maybe to get position. Couldn't hold on to Michuan, just too tough. The seventh event for Rough China as they continue to grow and continue to get better. The crowds are huge over there in China, and MMA has truly been embraced by the nation as we get ready for the super fight. Both men circling. We're ready for a big exchange. I have a feeling these guys are about to bring a real heavy. Another big overhand by Michuan. As soon as I say that, Shifa lands an overhand of his own. Michuan in the black and white shorts. These guys are just banging, man. All right, here Michuan, ah. Oh, up Another against the cage. Overhand by Michuan. But still not very determined. Jifa continues to throw hard. He has not lost anything off of his punches. Nice, big takedown. That could be the story of this round. Uh, Jifa with the big yeah. takedowns throughout this yeah. round. Whoa, what do we got Get going on here? The legs again. Ah, oh, here we go. Now this this could be the turning point. One has Once thrown again. it on before and very oh, quickly. Kind of isolating that left arm here case. It comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Bad position for Shafa. That thing's Can he hold out. on? He's locked out. Can he hold ah. on? Shafa, he's trying as he bends oh. it back and that's it. He taps out. He takes it, man. May Swan moves on to the super fight. He will face Lu Ping Yuan in the rubber match in the championship in February of 2013. Cyrus Fees, Casey Oxenine, Rough China. Incredible. Fighters, promoters, fans, get hooked up. Send us your best knockouts and submissions by going to MMAinsidethecagetv.com and clicking Get On Air. MMA Inside the Cage, presented by Elevation Training Mask. Well, what a great show to kick off 2013, but we can't forget your last four finalists for Clip of the Week. Check them out. Makes a dirty dozen. Let's check them all out. One through twelve.
Now go to MMAInsideTheCageTV.com and vote for your favorite. The winner takes home that big prize package from Training Mask, Gamma Labs, Bam Fight Gear, and of course Hunter MMA. Well, find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel for exclusive interviews. I'm Cyrus Fees. I'm Casey Oxen. We'll see you next week Inside, Inside the Cage. cage.